Good morning. It's Monday the 19th of September. It's the day of the Queen's funeral. I'm actually having to watch it in the bedroom because Jennifer won't let me have the big TV downstairs. That's fine. I've got it on uh, BBC News on YouTube because I can't get iPlayer on this TV. I'm also not feeling very well. I've got a cough, sore throat. I'm losing my voice. I'm very hot. I don't think it's COVID because I can still taste things and smell. A bit sniffly, but Jennifer's had a cold, so I always get them. So I'm feeling really rough. So I'm just going to curl up in bed and watch the the funeral. Um, I've left the bedroom door open so that Jennifer can obviously come up and and down as as and when she wants. The only problem with this is the bloody internet's not very good up here. Even with a booster, it's it buffers all the time. But that's okay. At least I can watch it. As you can hear, my voice is going. So I'm going to leave it for now. I'm I'm going to do a bit of colouring while we're waiting for the funeral proper to start. In that, and I am doing this one from. What is it? It's um, Sun Life Drawings Hundred Best. Because I'm not 100% sure of this. I do look very pale actually, especially these block number ones. I'm not really enjoying it very much. It's a bit boring. The the, te the rest of them are alright so far. So I thought I'd try them. Well, I'm really not feeling very well, so. Anyway, I'll see you in a little bit. I'm going to be doing what there is of last week's weekly vlog. What are you up to, Jen? 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 Jennifer? What are you up to? Are you watching telly? Mm -hmm. Don't do it like that. There you are, look. Uh, just don't, Jen. I'm trying to get it to focus. focus. So here's Jennifer. I don't know why we're not focusing today. Paul's going to go out for a walk. And, uh, oh. hello. Um, I'm going to sit here and colour while she watches um, whatever it is she's watching. I don't know why it's not focusing. I'm sorry. Hey, everybody. It is Tuesday. Um, I'm still feeling really rough. <coughs> I've just had a shower, which was nice. I'm going to dry my hair in a minute. I'm have a sleep. <sighs> Jennifer's in school. i got to be honest, I'm getting a bit fed up of uh, arguing with people about uh, things on, on the internet. Especially Marilyn stuff, when I am... I know a lot about Marilyn. Marilyn Monroe History 2. There's a Marilyn Monroe History 2. Oh, look at that one in a minute. I don't know. I, I'm just not with it. I'm so tired. And, um, I'm just having a look at various things. I'm feeling very rough. So, I'm in a Marilyn mood, but I think the problem is, is this blonde movie is really, really good. Um, Annoying because people are beginning blah blah blah. I believe in it. They already are. So and it's not even out yet. Well, I think it's been released in cinemas. It's not out until the twenty eighth on Netflix, and it's very very annoying because most of what is shown in that film is not true. So. For instance, there are certain scenes I won't get into that have been added. Um, for instance, her mother trying to drown her in a bathtub. Never happened. Never happened. That's one of the tamer items. There's lots of stuff here that... One of them shows Kennedy throwing Marilyn on a bed and, and you know, without her consent. Well, Kennedy had a very bad back and had to wear a back brace. So he wouldn't have been physically able to do that. So it's getting very annoying justifying, uh, you know, and, and having to evidence things all the time because people are too fucking lazy to do their own research. Um, do excuse me. Anyway, I'm going to dry my hair and then I'm going to actually watch 
the real Marilyn, because in my opinion, the only Marilyn worth worth, read, worth watching is the real one. I'm currently reading this Marilyn book. I've had it on my 2BR for a long time. I actually started reading it and never finished it. I don't know why. It's an all right book. It's called Holding a Good Thought by Mar for Marilyn, 1926 to 1954, The Hollywood Years, by Stacey Eubanks. Now, she was apparently working on a second volume. Um, I don't know what happened, but they, I mean, it took her 15 years to research this one, so and to get all the um, bits and pieces, I believe she says. It came out in 2015, so she's halfway through her 15 years. <laughs> I expect to see book two by 2030. <laughs> Please, I don't want to uh, pass away and not see it, because, uh, um, yeah, uh, it doesn't contain any real photographs other than the one on the cover, but it does contain artwork by the author, because she is a bit of an artist as well, and they're very nice drawings as well. Um, I recently put up a TikTok um, on Marilyn. I have two TikTok accounts if you're interested. I've lost the remote for the TV, I'll find it in a minute. Um, let me see. One is Andrea Life, which is anything to do with my general life. Uh, mostly it's about books I'm reading. Sometimes it might be about photography, sometimes Jennifer appears. A bit of colouring here and there if I'm out doing something. So that's that. Oh, I feel sad. Um, and the other one is specifically dedicated to Marilyn, and it is actually called Marilyn and Me. And it is... I'm just trying to think. Yeah, it's all Marilyn, so there is stuff on there that is... Um, me answering questions, there are photographs, there's rare photographs. There's um, new items that I've bought into my collection, which I sometimes show you guys. Uh, they go straight on there. And yeah, I'm very, very into trying to keep Marilyn positive and her life positive. But sometimes it's very difficult because people want to believe everything bad and and so I'm looking at the TV looking for something specific um and somebody mentioned a documentary that I do know exists because I've heard of it and I can't find it oh that one's on there or part of it on there it's dark history she didn't have a dark history for god's sake I'm on a Marilyn Monroe documentary well good for you some of it is, I know it exists, I'm wondering if it might be on, um, I'm trying to think, Prime, I will have a look in a minute. Anyway, I am just going to go and have a quick look and I will, uh, I'll talk to you a bit later if I ever find this flaming documentary. So I finished doing my um, TikToks uh, debunking the missing evidence. This is not my lens again. Oh, God. And uh, yeah, I'm just yeah, going to upload some videos on TikTok. I'm watching a channel called Fascinating Horror. They deal with disasters worldwide. It's great. It's absolutely brilliant. And yeah. I'm just going to have a look and see what I can do and all that, uh, what I'm doing, I don't know, I'm not with it, I'll, I'll see you later. A bit, bleh. <laughs> don't ask. <coughs> hey everyone, I know this weekly vlog is not going to be the best, I'm still not feeling brilliant. Better, it's shifting, that's the main thing. Last night I didn't sleep very well, couldn't catch my breath, I just couldn't breathe properly. So, this morning I dropped Jen off to nursery breakfast before school and then all oh, the cats licking my toes and, and then I came back got a drink read a few pages of my book which I am currently reading I've got two on the go I'm reading Salman Rushdie's Midnight Children which I'm really enjoying and I'm reading uh, Holding a Good Thought for Marilyn by Stacey Eubanks which is again a very good book um but I didn't read for very long just while I was drinking my tea and uh well then I went to sleep because I was retired I slept about 11 Got up, went to the bathroom, came back up, uh, played a few games, and then I got up and had some lunch with Paul. I've just picked up Jen from the nursery. I'm going to go and uh, sit with her, do a bit of colouring, you know, 
and just relax with her. I've got one more day to myself tomorrow and then Paul's off on Friday. So I've still got another five days to book off at some point, so... <laughs> it's ridiculous, really. And then we'll carry on with... Um, whatever. I don't know, I'm just going to read through these two books, so... I'm not feeling myself, as you can probably tell. I feel a bit, I feel a bit loose. So anyway, that's it really. I am going to go back downstairs and uh, sit with Jen for a bit and have a drink. Oh, see if I'm focus again. Oh, this thing. <laughs> anyway, good morning. It is Thursday, whatever the date is. I don't know anymore. I'm still not feeling brilliant. I feel better, but not brilliant. I still got a little cough. But I'm not wheezing, so that is something. I'm just. It wears me out. I don't know why it's not focusing. I'm going to have a look at the settings on this thing, I think. I'll be back in a minute. That was a bit odd. <laughs> I turned it around, it focused, and I thought that is fine. Um, so I am in my office, which is where my Marilyn books live. It's a right state. It is a tip, as you can see. There's stuff in front of all the books, I can't get to half the books, there's stuff on the floor, there's a bag of books I've got to go to my mum, there's folders. I am sorting it all out, that's where I keep my oversupplies, the ones I don't use every day, as well as ones that are on top that I use regularly. New packet of Prismas. <coughs> Stack of books I've got to read, some of my books, more of my books, and my perfumes, more books I haven't read up there. My entire colouring book collection, or well, most of my colouring book collection, it takes up almost all those shelves. Then I've got colouring books I don't use. Oh, that's a nightmare. These are all my colouring books. It's not completely full. I do have a bit of space there on a short shelf. I see all the dust, so I'm trying to clean so I can get it done. Those are all the books I haven't coloured in, except for... Those ones on top, they're all the Christmas books I haven't coloured in and the Halloween books I haven't coloured in or Halloween related ones I haven't coloured in are in the other room ready for next month. As you can see there's glasses and cans and mugs and all sorts everywhere. And this is my Hollywood book collection, which I will do a video about at some point. Um, these are cameras and lenses that need to either be tested or cleaned to be listed. These are books I haven't read yet that I need to uh, put on my cart. I've got some space, they'll be being moved. And then here I've got more books that are Hollywood related, apart from the Wonder Woman ones and the Doctor Who guides, annuals. More books over here are Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper. Notebooks, some DVDs. And then various other non fiction books. On the top I've got those box folders are all Marilyn news clippings, Marilyn pictures, my jewellery. My makeup boxes and the Marilyn and some more books. I can't see because the live view's gone off and I don't know why it keeps doing that. I can't get it to stay on. Anyway. Yes, so I'm going to crack on. Have a drink. I'll see you in a bit. Hopefully it'll look a bit better. There's also loads of clothes everywhere which need to go down to be washed. Okay guys, it's 20 past one. I'm going to have a break now. I'm tired. I'm hot. This is a bit to do, but it's getting there slowly and every time I go down I'm taking something down. Because I've got to be honest, I'm worse for this. Paul's bad at night. He leaves glasses in the bedroom. Don't bring him down in the morning. Me. <coughs> it's in the office. When I'm working, I leave cans up there. And I don't bring them down. And it's stupid because... Why not? So, every time I go down, I'm taking a bit of rubbish down. Um, and when he's... Paul's going out tonight. When I pick up Jennifer, we're going to start sorting out the... Tidy up a bit of the, the living room. It's a, it's a state. It's gone to a mess because I've been ill. Um, this, my plan this week was to blitz the living room and the kitchen and of course I've been ill so I haven't been able to uh, but hopefully we'll be having a new bathroom kitchen soon so we need to get it sorted and I'm very excited so I want to crack on I've still got another week of annual leave to book so my book's on ad hoc days on a Monday or a Friday and uh, use those to do bits that I can't do when Jennifer's home so for instance the bedrooms because she follows me everywhere and I can't get anything done. I'm going to have my lunch now, a little ham sandwich, and uh, I'm going to be colouring before I have to go into the end because I just need to relax for a bit. Hi everybody, it's Friday evening. I haven't vlogged at all today. I've got to be honest, I didn't get very much sleep last night. I couldn't stop coughing. And I'm just really, really feeling rough still. 
Um, but yeah, so it's the weekend now and Jennifer's here watching whatever she's watching, Julian and Addy, I think. And I'm having a sniffle and a cough. Yeah, and on the news rant, we will be getting a new bathroom and kitchen before the end of the year, which is great because our bathroom and kitchen's falling apart. Literally, drawers are falling apart, kitchen doors are coming off, the walls cracked between the bathroom and the kitchen because our bathroom's downstairs. So it's going to be a bit of upheaval for a, a few weeks. But, oh, excuse me. Oh, I can't wait. And I'm going to be enjoying showing you around. And we're redesigning the kitchen completely and bathroom. So we will have more counter space because of what we're doing. So one of the things we're going to be doing is when it's done is me and Jen are going to bake cupcakes with buttercream frosting. And I am so looking forward to it. But I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully I'll feel a bit better. Good morning. It is Saturday the 24th of September. Nothing's happened yet. Um, we've spoken to David. Oh, that's a nice... It is a nice orange, isn't it, I made? <coughs> we spoke to David about um, arranging magnet to come in and measure up the kitchen. And then he's going to come over once we've done that to sort out the bathroom. So it's all in the works. As you can tell, I'm not feeling... Still feeling really out of breath. I'm not sure. I might have to ring the doctors next week. Me and Jennifer are going to be doing some painting, aren't we? Yeah. So here she is. We've just made some colours, mixed the colours up, it's not focusing again. But as you can see, there we've got some bright colours there and some metallics hey, and some darker colours there. You could you. Is that mummy? Yeah. Wow. Uh, am I that orange? <laughs> and I'm going to be uh fill oh, this thing won't uh, doesn't want to focus the Jen. Let me play with this, see if I can get this to work. It's a bit better, it's not much. And I'm going to be working on this one, which is a Colour in Heaven book. Wait, Jen, wait. Slosh it around, I'll get you something to wipe it on in a minute. Um, which is Jashley. So, I'm going to do that. See you in a bit. I figured out why I wasn't uh, focusing. I finished this one. Nice and sparkly. That's been hanging around for a while, but there's another whip that's gone. Yeah, that's dry. Great. I can now close that one. Um, I've got one to do in here. I've colour off plate now. I've got to finish this one. And where's your clothes? She keeps getting undressed. It looks like there's nothing on it, but it is. It's just um, very grey. There's a bit yellow, you can see it. And then you can see the, the red on the thing. So I'm going to try and finish that one later. But now I'm going to do something else. Hey guys, I got this lovely little new <coughs> DVD player for the bedroom. It's multi-region. So I just made a TikTok featuring this film for the Marilyn and me TikTok account. And how to marry me there. And later on, I'm gonna do one featuring this film. This copy is not very good. I am going to try it out though, just to see if I can get it sound better. Because the sound is terrible on it and it might be a dodgy DVD. It was only cheap and I will buy another copy if that's the case. So I'm going to try, I'll try and pair my... My Bluetooth wireless headphones with my TV. Let's see how that goes. i got to admit, it's Sunday and I haven't done any vlogging. I'm watching a bit of YouTube, uh, TikTok. Um, before bed, I'm still coughing my heart out. I'm feeling really wheezy, out of breath all the time. Because the end of this week's weekly vlog, I don't know whether next week's is going to be any better, to be honest. I'm hoping this will clear up. I've, I've got work tomorrow. I'm just going to have to see how it goes. And if it's, it's still bad, I'll have to come home. But we'll see how it goes. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to go get this one on the computer.